I'm going to do a quick demo how we can actually automate uh, web testing using robot framework. So robot framework is actually uh, uses Selenium. As some of you may have been using Selenium in Java, Python, the web driver, using robot framework should be relatively similar. Uh, in here, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to do some basic element capture, etc. All right. So for this demo, I like to I will actually want to search for a, a product. 737 NG Mark by Boeing and probably look into the product, the search item and zoom it and add it to my wish list and attempt to log in. So these are my test case. Alright, so let me try it first. So before you do any manual uh, automation. We should try manually that it works. Click on this and click on this. Okay, right. And I will click on this. And I like to see what is this. So I zoom it. All right. Okay, great. All right. And I add it to my wish list. Okay, good. And here I will actually sign in and see whether it works or not. Great. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, I'm using actually PyCharm to um, do this. All right. So let me create a test. Search for Amazon robot, and I create a few resources. That's where I'll start my page object model. So I notice that we have all right. This is the navigator bar on top the navigator bar uh, this is a landing page all right let's call it the landing page the main page and then uh, okay and so this is the product page right this is a product, this is where I want to name it as a page object model, the product page. And this one will be the uh, POM for the login page. So now basically we have uh, conceptualized all the POMs where it is. And let me create a few empty files first. And the navigation bar for the search. And that is the product page where we can view the product, any products. Okay. And of course, we need to have something to call all these resources, uh, page object models. So let me call it Amazon. Right, we have on top of this. Okay, and we probably create a directory for a result to store all our results. Okay, great. 
Okay. So let's see. All right. So this is this is the first page that we will actually write to test. Okay, let's work out one by one. All right, let's go to the uh, landing page. All right. So the landing page is where we actually start the web. Uh, where this is where we actually go go in as the first page. Cut. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what do we have for the cut. In page is where we actually input our password. Uh, it's where we actually search uh, in here that we actually search for all the items. So the products we actually want to view the product, we want to check on the product and we also want to zoom the product. Yeah. So, okay. so right now we have all this page object model. She should be working. This is the page where we will call the page object model. Okay, great. So, yeah. So as we go along, we can actually add, add more more of this. to make sure that uh, at the end of every test we will actually close the browser ah, okay I did realize that I forgot to add at this part the browser okay. and all right for the variable test cases the variables okay this is where I will actually specify this is what I actually want to search for in the navigation bar and this is the expected results
okay so now we come to the test case so what are the test case that we actually expect all right so the test case uh, is that right, I want to search and purchase a mark called 737 Max NG mark by Boeing all right this okay right so the first step that I'll do is that I want to find uh, on Amazon a product I want to view the product 737 max and Gmail I want to view it zoom in and see whether it's correct and it's correct I want to add to cut And I need to log into purchase. Okay. So basically, after this, I'll, I'll need to actually add the keywords. Yeah. And so each of these will actually cause the keywords here and run okay so right now I would like to actually execute the script we have all the script in place and the POMs right and so basically uh, to run it in PyCharm I will actually run it through the terminals Right, this is our result. Okay, so you are actually save in this result folders. And execute. So now it's running. It's inputting the search, search strings, and so. It's going to click on the product page. It's going to zoom it out, click on the image and zoom it out. And it's going to close this image. And you click add to list. Right, because you, you log in. Right. So uh, this is where the, the test actually ends. And you see, it actually passes. So the results are actually stored in here this folder which is here so if you remember that all right we have all this given that I want to find Amazon product and then I want to view the product I want to add to cart and I need to log in to purchase so all these are the keywords and we can actually zoom in and see each of these right similarly if it fails it will actually turn rates and you can actually identify quickly which line it fails So that's basically about it. Uh, do see the description uh, in the YouTube for more info. Thank you.